I'm Ashley Weston. I'm a celebrity menswear stylist. How's your day going so far? I hope it's going great. So this video is part of my men's essential accessory series. To see the other articles and videos in this series, check out this link below. All right, so today I want to get into briefcases, but before we really get into it, I need to address something. There is no scenario where you should ever be carrying a messenger bag, unless of course you're a messenger. I seriously, I blame the IT guys because they somehow made it seem appropriate for men to carry a messenger bag. But honestly, it's just a lazy version of a briefcase with a removable shoulder strap. There is no such thing as a stylish messenger bag, just like there's no such thing as stylish square toe dress shoes, white socks, or trash bags. Even on its best day, a messenger bag still looks horrible and should be avoided at all costs. If you're waiting for me to do some kind of story or video on a messenger bag and you won't even consider using a briefcase, then get the f out! A modern briefcase is a way more versatile work bag and it makes me so happy that we're living in such exciting times in the briefcase world. Ideally, your briefcase should look classy and timeless. It should also be free of any contrasting stitching, logos, flourishes, patterns, and just shiny material. Also, it should be decently sized, something similar to these briefcases I have here, where it can easily fit a 15 inch laptop plus any other goodies. If you think you need something bigger than this, then it might be time for you to sit down and just kind of rethink some of your life's choices. Or, I mean, if you legitimately need a bigger item, you just have a lot of stuff to carry, then you gotta just go for a straight up utility item, something similar to those rolling document briefcases that you see lawyers walking around town with. And lastly, your briefcase should absolutely have a removable shoulder strap and permanent handles, but I'll get into more details about that later. Like your weekender bag and backpack, the goal is to have a briefcase that shows you're a man that cares about the details and values the items he carries with him every day. In all of my testing, the best material by far for a briefcase is definitely leather. All the other materials out there, they just stain and wear easily and they don't look good. Leather now, it not only does it look great, but it's super durable. So please do yourself a favor and stick with leather. So what color briefcase should you get? I recommend going with black or brown. I've tested blue and gray versions, but they just don't age very well, especially from a stylistic and durability standpoint. I promise you're gonna thank me 10 years from now when your briefcase looks just as awesome as it did from day one. Since your briefcase has a removable shoulder strap, let's go over when you should or shouldn't use it. Like I said in my backpack story, if you're wearing a suit, sport coat, or blazer, then you should never use the shoulder strap. Please don't do it. Because if you do, at best, it's going to wrinkle the shoulder area of your jacket and possibly the lapel area and the back, which is annoying. And at worst, it's going to ruin the shoulder padding in your jacket. Now that's a very expensive mistake. So instead, remove the shoulder strap and either place it inside your briefcase or leave it at home and use the handles instead. If you're wearing an unstructured or an unlined jacket or any casual items, then by all means you can and should actually use the shoulder straps on your briefcase. So let's get into the best briefcases that you should own. First up, I've got Frank Clegg's Zip Top Leather Briefcase. So like their Weekender bag, this is hands down my favorite briefcase. It has the same awesome leather, great hardware, and just a basic well thought out design. Now I have this color here, which is black, and of course it's black, of course you know that. I have it here in black, but the chestnut color is equally as awesome. If you wanna see what that color looks like, then check out my Weekender story where I feature that color. One of the things I really love about this briefcase is the hidden shoulder strap hooks, which are kind of placed just right here. It's behind this piece of leather. 
I really love that because when you're just carrying the bag by the handles, you won't even see any of the hardware on the sides. It has pockets on the sides like you see here. So in case you need to just slip something in real quick, you don't have to go through the process of unzipping your briefcase and opening it up. I have the double gusset version here. As you can see, there's one and two. That makes it a double gusset. Um, but this is offered in a single or triple version. I'd recommend for most men to go with the single because it's still nice and roomy and it has a laptop compartment. Honestly, go with whatever suits your needs. It's just nice that Frank Clegg offers these different options because not a lot of brands do, so appreciate that. If you do decide to get this briefcase, then make sure to get it monogrammed because it just adds a nice little extra touch. Next up, I've got the Metropolitan Slim Brief by Coach. This is a great budget-friendly option that I really love. Coach just does such a great job with their leather goods really knocked it out of the park with this one the leather feels so great and the shoulder strap hooks which are right here in here now they're not hidden like the ones on frank clegg's briefcase however they do allow you the ability to actually tuck in the hook into the pocket the lining in the inside is super soft it's almost like a microfiber so if you place your laptop inside it's not nothing's going to get scratched in there um, they have the same lining in the side pockets as well i mean it feels really nice i have a hard time actually taking my hands off i want to give major points to coach because they actually placed their logo at the bottom of the bag i don't know if you can see it it's right here and it's stamped into the leather so you can barely even see it now a lot of designers including coach would normally place their logos more prominently on their items so i really appreciate that coach you refrained from doing that and you kept the logo to a minimum. I do have two knocks against this briefcase though. So the first is the shoulder strap. I do wish that it was an all leather shoulder strap like the one on Frank Clegg's briefcase. The second one is the metal feet on the bottom. So like I mentioned in my Weekender story, you wanna avoid bags with metal feet because they end up getting pitted and scratched, which then they will end up scratching whatever surface you place your bag on. However, easy fix. Like I mentioned in that video, just take a little bit of electrical tape and wrap it around the metal feet. That way you solve the problem of it scratching, possibly scratching surfaces, and no one will see it. Overall, I will have to say I am quite impressed by Coach's Metropolitan Slim Brief. So that's it. Those are the two best briefcases that I can wholeheartedly recommend to you. Now, if you're wondering why there are so few, well, just like my backpack story, the pickings were really slim in this category and I just found a lot of the briefcases either look cheap or tacky or were just so ridiculously expensive that I couldn't, for reasons that I couldn't even figure out why when I was testing them. So that's why I'm only recommending those two briefcases. There were a couple that just missed the mark, so I included them in my honorable mention section in my article, which you can find at this link here. This video is part of my men's essential accessory series. Check out my website for a more in-depth article that includes all the product links as well as my honorable mentions. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you like this video, remember, give it a thumbs up. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.